Welcome biologists, today we are looking at populations and sustainability 6.3.2 taken from the OCR specification for A-level biology. Looking at specification point C, the reasons for the differences between conservation and preservation. Now you need to look at the economic, social and ethical reasons for conservation. Okay, so let's look at some definitions first. Conservation, uh, this is in a red box, it's taken from the mark schemes. Conservation is uh, the maintenance or management of nature to protect species or habitats. Uh, so conservation of a particular um, woodland to protect the trees within there, um, therefore the, the habitats that they provide, or it could be the protection of a species um, to maintain that population. So for example, um, the safaris in Africa uh, and the, um, the parks there, to help protect those species present within them. Whereas preservation, this is where you leave an environment alone and the lands are not used by humans at all. It leaves ecosystems completely untouched. So some examples of those are, for example, this picture on the right-hand side here where we've got a protected beach, uh, no human activity beyond those, those ropes there where, for example, turtles can go and lay their eggs and they won't be touched in any way. So conservation, um, is where you maintain you maintain it through, for example, burning an area or um, cutting something down to allow other trees to grow. Whereas preservation is where you leave it alone; it's untouched. Okay, so conservation is important for these different reasons. Now, you may argue that some are in different boxes. That's completely up to you. That's fine. But economic reasons, I've highlighted this in bold as well because it's so popular on the Mart scheme. Ecotourism is a massive economic benefit to a country, um, conservation. And here is an example just below here, the Galapagos a land tortoise there, the giant tortoise. It attracts and the Galapagos Islands attract um, loads of visitors every year and this brings a lot of money into the area as well. So ecotourism bringing in a lot of money into the area so they can see the beautiful landscapes or in uh, animals that live there or plants. Um, we've also got the protection for future medicines as well. Um, so there's a lot of new medicines that can be found in microorganisms and plants. So we need to try and protect those areas because in the future it might provide more medicines that we can sell and make money from. Social reasons, it's aesthetic, it means it's beautiful to look at, such as the Niagara Falls there in that image there. And also, you might argue it doesn't go in this box, but to prevent or stop the impacts of deforestation as well. Um, so ethical reasons why we would like to undergo conservation is to preserve biodiversity and stop extinction of organisms. So, for example, some rhino species are not going to be around in 10 to 20 years because we haven't managed to protect them as much as maybe we should have done. Uh, and also a very weak point here, and it is in the, I've seen it on the mask even once, but I'll put it in there. Some of the um, species that we conserve help to support indigenous populations. So those are the reasons and the differences between preservation and conservation. We've looked at a couple of examples there of economic, social and ethical reasons of why we would conserve individual species. Guys, remember in your exam, don't use the words it's amounts, they or size. Use good scientific biological terminology and good luck for your exams.